Welcome! Here on this shelf, built across the window, is Huernia zebrina. And because it is in bloom, I would like to share with you the good news. Here is the flower. The flower is quite weird. The flower is beautiful. However, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. The plant really doesn't care whether we people perceive its flowers as beautiful or not. The plant is interested in attracting pollinators, something, usually an insect, that would carry the pollen from one flower to the other. And in case of stapeliads, because Huernia zebrina belongs to to a large group of plants called stapeliads. So in case of stapeliads, they are attracting flies as their pollinators. So Huernia zebrina's flower is trying to convince a fly that it is a piece of rotting meat, that it is something worth laying eggs on, and it is deceiving the fly into thinking that if she lays egg, on the flower, the maggots, when they hatch, will have something to eat and to grow to be a big fly. The plant not only looks like meat, overgrown by fat in this case, the yellow color probably is a fat or a tendon or maybe a bone, uh, and the red color is the meat itself, maybe some blood, dried up blood, because the color is not bright red, it's just brownish. It also smells like rot, it smells like a garbage can. Very attractive smell to a fly. Fortunately, the, pl the flower is quite small, so I cannot sense the smell. I cannot smell it, which is great. But there are stapeliads that produce very large flowers, and they can fill up the room with the smell of rot. So when the fly lands on the flower, it goes towards the source of the smell, of course, and that's where the pollen is. And in case of stapeliads, it's interesting that it's very difficult to pollinate them artificially. That's why seeds, stapeliad seeds, are not really that easily available. Flies are better, much better at that than a human with a brush. But as much as it is difficult to pollinate the flower and to produce seeds and to grow the plant from seeds, it's quite easy to propagate stapeliads by just taking a cutting. As you can see, the, the stem sections are quite short, and if one breaks off one of the sections, it is very easy to root it. You can either root it by just putting it in soil or, just like with African violets, one might put a stem into, the glass of into a glass of water and the roots will be created soon after. It is a very easy plant to keep. It is a plant that needs to be watered moderately. During summertime, when the temperature in the room is quite warm, I water them about once a week. However, they do not undergo a winter rest. It is not that uncommon that they will even bloom in the winter, except because the temperature in the room is a little bit lower during winter time than it is in summer, and also the days are shorter in the winter. They don't need that much water. So in winter, I water them much less than that. I water them maybe sometimes once every three weeks but I do water them in winter. I don't let them be completely dry. Well, that's about it. Thank you very much for watching my video about Huernia zebrina. I hope you like it. I hope you can see why I find this plant extremely interesting. Have an amazing afternoon.